I'm so tapped up. Let's play Diorama Dungeon Crawl, Master of the Living Castle. This game looks really cool, so we're gonna play it. Which is, which is what we're doing right now. It brings an adventure such as you to our quiet town. A is not, in fact, next. Oh, does it mean my? Oh, it means kind of the controller. Oh, that's some text. That's some fuzzy text. Go ye to Rails Brew and await me arrival. We'll know soon enough. In the meantime, I need a room. It's kind of loud. Games have been loud tonight. Usually 20% 20, 20 is fine for me, but... Oh, poor towns. The castle appeared. Crusting over the forest to the east. I think that's supposed to say cresting? R r <laughs> this, the fuzz effect plus this particular font is really not helping. Hefting his warhammer across his back. S that's an. That G is an E. That G is an E. It looks more like a C. Go ye to rise, bro. Forest beasts. Me. I look like frickin' Sir Daniel Fortescue with flesh. Oh, can I read signs? Read sign. Yes, I can! Jump, attack, parkour. Find power ups. Parker. To modify effect and charge attack. Oh, it's got power ups even. But see, I just, I love the look. I love the pixels and poly look, as I call it. That kind of, um. A little bit Paper Mario, but more like, um. Mega Man Legends, really. Game saved? What? Oh, spooky... Spooky Gosplins. Fight the Spooky Gosplins. What is... Oh, it's a whip! I guess. The music feels a little Castlevania-inspired. I mean, everything seems kind of Castlevania inspired. We got a hammer instead of a thing, though. Was there a hammer in Symphony of the Night? Maybe. I wish more games would kind of do the pixels and polys look. Is it like a more formal term for that? I, I like my term for it, personally, but... It's just exactly what it says on the tin. Let me try this charge attack. Okay, let me not try this charge attack. Oh, so yeah, it's energy use is permanent, like you have to get more. Yeah, you gotta get a thing. I can't tell which one is my health and which one is my... Okay, that's my energy meter at the bottom, got it. Did you hear that? Did you hear that low quality sample? I love that stuff. I'll live for this. Oh, nice. Saves heal you. Can I make that? I can't. Dead. Mortis. Alright. I don't know how long this game is. Uh, I'll probably... I'll probably give it like... 10 to 20 minutes. To see what she's all about. Um, if I really like it, obviously I can play more. But uh, I got a whole bunch of Itch.io games I've been meaning to check out. And I've, I've made a third review queue on Itch.io. The third review queue already has 25 games in it. Um, so... <laughs> The other ones both have like a hundred before I like, not really abandoned, but I was like, all right, I need to get on top of this better. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna go through a bunch of stuff. That's kind of, I think the channel is at its best personally, when we're just playing something really out there, really interesting, different every day, maybe 10 to 30 minutes tops. I like the full playthroughs and stuff. I like the streams, but I want to kind of try to get to some more classic tap tap. Just do a bunch of weird stuff. I do not understand the um, purpose of the charge attacks because it seems like you would just always die. Meat, please. All right, you know what? Oh. Oh, the charge attacks are still only one damage. At least this particular one is. Oh, thank goodness. Meat. Spearman Vanguard? Oh no. Okay. 
I guess they're more for bosses, because you kind of have more room to think with bosses. Nice. You got any meat? Time for it or something? No. Oh. Saving a- I always got a little annoyed with games that let you save after the boss instead of before. It just seems kind of rude. I guess it depends how- what kind of difficulty the game's for, going for. How, um... How hard the bosses are and all that. I think if I hit them with the main strike, it does do two damage. Oh neat, it doesn't consume the power-up if you don't need it. I always thought it was rude when games let you do that. Just eat the thing you don't need just because you happen to be near it. Where bear? Oh wow. Oh, he's he ain't playing around. Okay, wow. Wow, where bear is way too fast for his size. Oh no, it takes my charge up. probably just ignore these guys. Wait, there was a meat in here. I'll take the meat. Ah! Oh. Right, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Beating me up after I passed out. That's that's low, guys. I know y'all's goblins and such, but... Did his explosion hurt me, or was that just the, the fireball? That's probably the fireball. That would be too BS, right? health. Um, no power-up for our smash, though. Wow. Okay. You think you're good after the jump, but he's got a, he's got a second one. You gotta kind of wait for both. Alright, I got his pattern. I got his pattern. I was just expecting to be safe, and I wasn't. Rookie mistake. Ah, oh, speaking of. Alright, we got this. Maybe. One more. Whew! He just attacked me after he died! Come on, dude. Okay. Level complete, whatever. Oh, there's the castle. I, I just really didn't want to stop before we actually got into the castle. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't get to go in the castle. We gotta go into the secret catacombs first. Look at that boner boy. You would think boners would be particularly susceptible to a hammer, you know? There's not a lot of... anything to really stop the hammer. What is that? Is that an arrow taped to a squirrel? I've never been attacked by such vile weaponry. Give me power up, please. It seems rude it's gonna take those away from you when you die, considering ow. how few of them there are, but I guess it's going for that old school kind of difficulty ish. It's going for that old school difficulty, except with more modern, like, checkpoints. I mean, it's, it's, I'm sure it's a fairly short game, so. It's not like you're redoing, like, five hours of ghouls and ghosts every time. I'll probably never beat one of those games without, like, save states or whatever. In fact, there's a couple of new, pretty cool-looking games that are ghouls and ghosts inspired, and I'm like, okay, that's cool, but I'm not gonna play that. I hate to be like that, but there's just a certain degree of BS I'm willing to deal with in a video game. I mean, I did play Bunny Must Die, which I guess is kind of... This is just the kind of difficulty, I guess. Bunny Must Die doesn't kick you back. I could never deal with the kicking you back kind of NES difficulty. That was always the absolute worst thing to me. That was, like, insulting. Because it's like, this isn't the part I died on. Why do I have to redo this? I, I can ace the first stage with no problems. 
you're just you're punishing me by wasting my time and I especially now that I'm grown up adults and like my time is my most precious resource because it's like hey work do stuff for YouTube you know friends I don't have a lot of time to just play the same level again it's rude look at these boys I think the skeletons are actually easier than the goblins. Can't reach this voice. That's also something that slightly turned me off about Dark Souls. Like, I know you can kind of recover, but you kind of get, gotta get back to where you were and stuff. It's an interesting way of doing things, and I respect people that like it, but, um... I don't know. Maybe I'll play it someday. I do have Demon Souls. It was a ledge, I wasn't sure if I could get up it or not. Oh. I'm gonna eat that meat. I'm, I might eat it. Then this is gonna be a safe point in the next room. Actually, it's probably a boss considering the timing of this game. Listen to those butt trumpets. <laughs> Hello, Minecraft slime! How you doing? Ow! It's even got the skeletons right inside there. Wow. Oh wow, that does a lot of boss damage. Okay, this thing is great. This particular attack is great for bosses, I guess. I think maybe like each side of the blast radius hit it because the slime was just huge. Okay, now that I have a better hang of things, I should start using the attack more. The charge attack, rather. I guess the music going for that lo-fi kind of thing. I will say, I do not enjoy the ow. I don't enjoy the music as much as I enjoy the uh, kind of aesthetics of it. Do I have to redo the slime boss? Oh no, I saved right after. From the right angle, the skeletons really look like just alien greys or something. Hey, wasn't there a power up in there before, or was that in this one? Doesn't jump attacking just feel stronger, even though it almost never is? It just feels like you should impart more momentum to your blow or something. What? Whoa! What was- oh, there's like- oh. Rude. Oh, hey. Save point. Big boss? Ah. I, I just feel like I should die after taking damage so early. At least they're not instant death spikes, though. It's kind of a surprise for <laughs> the insult to injury. I swear I can do video games, guys. I feel like Spike should not hurt me. Like, that should be my special power in video games, because I am the Spike Ball. But alas. Passives are just for Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, I need that. Let me guess the Spikes chase you. Yep. Yeah. Boss time. How did I know? It's a lich! He's a neck bromancer. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't do me like this! In this game, if they stand still, they're just dead. <laughs> Easiest boss. I just want to get into the castle. There we go! Into the castle. Aw, oh, we can't even walk into it. You just appear here. Oh, now it's mixing them both in. Alright, let's take a quick peek inside the castle. I wonder if this is like the last level. I'll never know. Well, maybe I'll know. 
So this game is where I hate to quit too early, but I have no idea how long it is. That's what I, I wish more games would just be like, hey, this game is about an hour long, this game is whatever. And how long to beat is a great resource for that, by the way. Um, there's even a boss, or a boss. There's even a uh, bot on my Discord server that can, um, gives you how long to beat info. And there's also a Steam. Oh, I see, it hits him twice. Nice. Um, there's also a Steam. Oh, boss is downgraded to regular enemies, huh? Going for that kind of style, huh? Whoa. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just want to know how long a game is. It's not even a bad thing. I prefer short games, personally. And so, like, knowing how long a game is is really helpful. Not just for the buying decision, but, like, can I sit down and play this? Should I, like, can I beat this game in a weekend is often my question. Or, like, when I'm doing YouTube stuff, can I beat this in one session? Or would I be, you know... Oh, <laughs> we got the bowling balls. The sense of depth perception is not that great. We'll finish this level. We're doing we're doing fine here. I just have no idea if this is like another two hours or Colossal Night. Or if this is like the last level. Oh man, that guy is intense. Wow. I guess that's why we have a safe state like right there, but. Let's see if there's power-ups in these. Yes! I'm not sure what the whip would mean in context of the hammer. Hey, what? What? I guess I gotta dodge to the side. Oh! Okay, he's got a horizontal chop and he's got a side chop. Got it. This guy's brutal. I can see why we spawn pretty close to him, though. So that has range? Okay, it does. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. I'm gonna beat this guy, and then I'm gonna call it quits. So I feel like at this point, we're just gonna get harder and harder. Oh, come on. Alright, the whip, the whip is not worth it. The whip is not worth it, we're just gonna go straight in. Oh, oh come on! And there's like no iframes. Oh my gosh. If I died two more times... <laughs> I think I'm, I gotta call it quits at that point. Oh, come on. My hammer never works! Alright, one or two more tries. I think this is kind of the, the, the point where it stops being interesting to watch me blunder through a first playthrough. Oh, come on. Well, it was working really well for a second. Yeah, I, I, I don't like this boss. This, this will be my last try. Just get this real quick. Oh, not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, this, that, 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 that's not for me. This is a really cool game, though. This has been... Um, Level select. Can I see? Castle. Oh yeah, there's probably like a couple more levels in the castle zone. I love when games have a little map like this though. I love this kind of stuff. It feels very um, pre Soton Castlevania inspired in that regard too. Or maybe Ghouls and Ghosts kind of shows you that same thing. But yeah. <laughs> 
not the biggest fan of that old school kind of difficulty. Just where there's not much you can do about it. I mean, it's just very specific, exact things you gotta memorize. Which you, which is kind of weird, because like I love bullet hell shooter things, and it's... I don't know. You wouldn't think it'd be that different, but it really is. Anyway, that's been Diorange... Bleh. Diorama Dungeon Crawl, Master of the Living Castle. That's really cool. Check it out on uh, Itch.io. Link in the description, as always. Tap Tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game. <laughs>